are kids dying in hot cars. After 26 this year alone, there's a stronger push than ever for Congress to do something. Safety groups want a law to force car makers to fix the problem once and for all. Brightside's Jenny Dean has a look at legislation currently going through the House and Senate. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning, Caitlin. You know, this is one of those problems where many people don't understand why you need a law or a mandate to fix. I mean, how can you leave your child in the backseat of a car and just simply forget they're there? Well, we've done many stories on this and we actually talked to a USF researcher who has done a lot on this topic. He's a neuroscientist and he says that in our busy lives, we get so caught up in doing the same things and the same routines that we can actually go on autopilot and forget that we have our child in the back seat, especially if they fall asleep and they're not making any noise. And you know, this just happened a week and a half ago in Orlando when a two-year-old boy died when he was left in a hot van at a South Florida daycare. Now, the, this is the fourth child in Florida to die like this this year. Now, last month in New York, a father of one-year-old twins actually faced two counts of manslaughter when he says he forgot his kids were in the car, leaving them there for eight hours. But a judge did rule last week that there's no criminal case there. So what can be done? Well, several car makers are coming up with fixes on their own, installing technology that will alert drivers if a child is left in the back seat. But Congress is currently looking at two, bill, uh, two different bills that would mandate that technology in all cars. So let's take a look at the House bill first. It would require all new cars to be able to detect if anyone is in the back seat. And if the car is turned off, it would set off an alert that must be deactivated by the driver. And automakers would have two years from the time the law passes to comply. Now, the Senate version, a little less specific, didn't really put the time requirement on it. It would require rear door detection. That means it detects your car does when a rear door is opened at the beginning of a trip and also if it's opened at the end and if no one opens that rear door at the end of the trip, an alarm would sound and safety groups. They really like that house version because they say the Senate version is too easy to reset. Like if they did a quick stop at a gas station or something, somebody could quickly open and close the back door. Now, the Alliance of Automobile Manufacturers, they are currently reviewing both bills. They represent a lot of these automakers and they said back in May that they believed public awareness was the most important thing that we could do to put a stop to kids dying in hot cars. Public education, well, there's the safety group though, they're coming out and they're saying that the public education on this topic, kids in hot cars, has been at an all time high. But since June, 17 children have died in hot cars. So that's why they are supporting the stricter house version of this bill.